Hey, welcome to Gunners TV, Banter and Bragging Rights. So, uh, the news today is that Harry Kane has not turned up for training for Tottenham. Now, I'm not going to sit here and dress it up for you Tottenham fans. Obviously, you can see my badge. I don't care for Tottenham. But uh, I do care for Harry Kane because, you know, whatever Arsenal fans say, the kid, the man, has been brilliant. Yeah, he's been phenomenal striker for Tottenham and for England, right? The best since Alan Shearer and then Gary Lineker. He's up there. But the man has not won anything. You can't blame him. You cannot blame him. And I blame Daniel Levy for this mess that maybe is occurring right now and over the next week or two. Uh, but the only thing I don't get with Manchester City is why on earth are they wanting Jack Grealish? Now, I'm not saying Jack Grealish is not worthy of playing for Manchester City or a title-winning team. But look at their midfield. They don't need him. They need Harry Kane. And I, and I think Sergio Aguero wasn't used properly last season. He could have fired City to that Champions League. You know, uh, their false nine business, you know, I think cost in the end. And not playing a DM in the final, obviously, cost them severely with Kante all over them. Uh, like a rash. But, um, you know, don't... I, no one's saying this one, right? But I'm telling you now, watch this space. Kane to Chelsea. Yeah. You think, oh, no, that won't happen. It won't ever happen. Mate, Arsenal have sold some of their best players to Chelsea. Ashley Cole, for instance. Yeah. You know, Van Persie, Sanchez to United. It happens. It does happen. We do end up selling our best players to our rivals sometimes. And it fucking sucks shit. Yeah. It sucks if you're going to sell them, you'd rather they go abroad. But look at these teams abroad. They can't afford Harry Kane. They, they can't even afford Jack Grealish. You know? So, I think Harry Kane will, will either end up at Manchester City or Chelsea. I, I've got a sneaky suspicion he's going to end up at Chelsea, you know? I really do. No one's saying it. They're talking about Lukaku on the football terrace or, not, or Haaland. I think Haaland will see his contract out and there's going to be one hell of a fight for his signature next season. Maybe Madrid or Barca have a bit of a revival financially with the fans back in the stadium. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Watch this space. There's going to be a lot of transfer activity over the next week. Uh, personally, for Arsenal, there's still this Martinez thing going on. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, don't, I haven't actually even seen their performance against Chelsea. They lost 2-1 yesterday. Tammy Abraham, of all people, gets the winner. Apparently, Guy Havertz's goal was brilliant as well. But again, shocking defending from Arsenal. Um, and, you know, I haven't really even seen a review of how Ben White got on in the second half. I know he put a brilliant block in that saved the goal. But, um, yeah, it's an interest. It's fascinating where Kane's going to end up, you know. If I was a better man, you would say City, but Chelsea, mate, do not do not underestimate Chelsea getting Harry Kane. If they put, if Roman Abramovich put some money on the table, mate, Daniel Levy will take it. But would Kane move to Chelsea? Yes, he would. I'm telling you now, I think he would. Anyway, this has been uh, Gunners TV, Banner and Bragg and Rights. Give me your thoughts. Where is Arsenal's nemesis, Harry Kane, going to end up? The Arsenal boy. Once a gooner, always a gooner. And get this in your head, Tottenham fans. Harry Kane was an Arsenal fan as a young child. You don't ever lose that. Yes, he will have fond memories of Tottenham and playing for them. But he's not a Spurs supporter. Remember that. He's not. And he's proven that right now, isn't he? Because if he was Spurs through and through, he'd just stay. Which he, he clearly isn't going to. 
So, where's Harry Kane going to end up? Is Roman Abramovich going to come in for a shot move for him? Is Erling Haaland going to come? I don't think so. Lukaku? I don't think so. Could be a dogfight between the two European champion finalists last season of who gets this signature, which I think is the biggest signature of the season. Anyway, I will be coming back with more Arsenal-based news later in the day. Um, I'll check the transfer news and get back to you on it, Gunas. All right, I'll see you later. And um, enjoy this uh, rainy grey day we have. Not much fun outside, but always fun online. I've heard my streams are grainy or something. On the short videos, they tend to be more grainy. But um, yeah, it's just my camera that I have, I'm afraid. Um, I will upgrade um, if it continues to be grainy. Um, I do have better cameras, um, but the batteries are dead and they're not working properly at the moment. But we shall see. Is Romelu Lukaku on his way back? I just I just can't see it. He's doing well at it now. I think he enjoys Serie A. But um, you just never know in football, man. It's just a crazy, crazy sport. In the transfer, you know, it's, just, it's insane. It's fun at the same time, isn't it? But it's not fun when you're losing your best players, as any Arsenal supporter fucking knows. So welcome to the club, Tottenham. Um, I know you've lost good players, Bale, Modric, etc. over the years, but you've not lost as much as Arsenal have. But when you lose Harry Kane, you'll know how it feels. Like we lost Thierry Omri. Anyway, I'll catch you later.